Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, and yes, this is a back-to-back -back beer money review. Well, this is the second of it anyway. On this video though, we're going to pause looking at cashback reward apps for just one video so I can talk about Go Mining. This app has been pretty heavily requested, and it was to a point that, I'm sorry, I could not wait till January to ignore this one. Um... I actually did not have a video planned for the 23rd, so I decided, hey, why not? I'll just throw it in here, so here it is. Go Mining was founded in 2018 and is currently run by CEO Mark Zalin, and the company, Yucca Digital, is registered as a Latvian limited liability company. This is an app that lets you mine Bitcoin using NFTs backed by computing power that go back to their servers to mine Bitcoin. When you sign up, they will offer you a trial period with a free 16 terahash miner, that mines for five days. Now, if you create a miner, that is buy a miner, they will give you another five day bonus. And by upgrading a miner, which is right here, you get to upgrade the maintenance and stuff, they will give you another for up to a 15 day bonus. Oh, NFTs, I see. Well, to get one of these NFTs and create a miner, I will need to go to home, I, I'm at the home tablet right here, and I'll select create miner. Now from there, I determine what computing power I want, and my energy efficiency, and they will show me my estimated profit after maintenance fees. Now the range will go anywhere from a one terahash machine, which will be about $25.99 at the optimal energy efficiency, all the way down to 5,000 terahashes, which will cost me $109,000. Uh, they do charge extra for better energy efficiency, so if I try to lower this to a 15 watt per terahash creator, you see it will increase by about 35%. Uh, this one going up to 151,000, and the one terahash machine will go up to $37. Obviously, uh, you're going to want to maximize profits with beer money. That's how I show you. So don't get this option. If you want to do this at all, use the optimal option. Uh, they do show the return on investments that range from a little over two years to around 20 months using simple interest rates, not compounded. Remember what I mentioned in a previous video, but that's if you use all the recommended options, which would require you to also possess their go mining token or a little bit of that and take the less energy efficient option. You can choose to pay your maintenance in go mining tokens or Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin discount i'm sorry the go mining discount i should say is 20 percent compared to bitcoin where you're gonna have to pay uh in bitcoin you know basically pay based off of your payout they also have a minor wars mini game that's almost like an app in an app you join a clan and you compete with other minor teams in order to earn bonuses i just joined the largest clan in the game and i'm still a little lost at just how exactly you play the game honestly it seems like uh, you basically just sit there and mine, and there's these certain spells as well that you can use. But I cannot use these spells until I join the Pro League, and the only way you can join a Pro League is by buying a miner. And the end of several or so minutes, the clan that does the most receives a reward, and I guess you get your share of it as well. Now, for those of you new to cryptocurrency mining and are wondering how impressive 16 terahashes are, especially those who might know a tera means a trillion, so it does sound like a lot, well, I hate to break this to you, but today that only comes out to about 97 cents a day of daily revenue as of the time of this recording and will only decrease as time goes on. The daily profit I'm expected to get is at around 66 cents which means I should be getting about $3.30 at the end of the five days. I doubt I'll be cashing that out, and it is only about 12% of the way to just their smallest miner available. Also, you're probably wondering, where is the free option? Well, there isn't. Outside of the five-day trial period, you're basically going to have to buy your way into this. A one terahash machine for $25.99 is going to net you about $1.06 a month, right here, well, $1.05 a month if you use their token. And if you decide to pay in Bitcoin, it goes to 85 cents a month. And that's if Bitcoin prices stay at the current $90,000 plus a coin that they're currently at. Now, it could go up over time, so you make a little more. It can also go down over time as well, which would completely crush any chance of profit that you have with that Bitcoin. 
your pool payout will decrease, the maintenance is fixed, so the amount that you pay in Satoshi or the Go Mining token will only increase as the coin goes down. Profit is not guaranteed, and I do wonder what would happen if Bitcoin dropped 40% again and you end up netting a negative amount. Well, thankfully, I did do a little bit of research on that before this video because I was genuinely curious. And it does look like they had that situation back in June of 2023, and Go Mining has said that they will eat up those costs. So I'm going to give that a huge positive on their end. So a negative balance will result in just no money for you that month. So I'll give them that as a positive. Another positive thing I can take from this is that the contract doesn't seem to expire outside of your trial. The NFT is yours for life. A lot of mining places usually put you on a contract for a month or a year. Go Mining does not. The contracts that do put you on a month or a year pretty much guarantee that you will not be seeing your money back unless Bitcoin roughly doubles, give or take, anywhere from two to three times the price. You're virtually guaranteed that you're going to keep this NFT forever, and in theory, you should be able to eventually get your money back. But again, there's that pesky issue of maintenance and a couple headwinds that go in your way. Maintenance fees do not go down. In fact, with inflation, they only keep going up. So you are sort of dependent on Bitcoin's price to keep rising, or at least not fall, to get your money back, especially as it becomes increasingly more difficult to mine Bitcoin over time with each halving. And that's kind of the issue I'm having with this. They promise your money back, but there is no guarantee you will. And there is almost no chance that you'll get the insane returns they're promising. I think Go Mining mostly means well. They look like a transparent company and are focused on Bitcoin mining and getting you a piece of the pie on it. However, you will have two headwinds working against you. The Bitcoin price, which will go up or down, and the rate at which miners will mine the Bitcoin compared to the hash rate, which will always go down. Eventually, the amount that you will earn from these miners will go to zero and will basically be worthless unless they come up with another idea to help you earn money on it by, I don't know, maybe moving it to another crypto coin like Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin, or the like. I also don't like that there is no option to watch an ad to get a temporary terahash for an hour or something. I don't understand this with crypto places at all and places that have their own custom crypto. Look, most rewards apps offer anywhere between half a cent to two cents for an ad just to watch an ad. Atlas Earth actually can go up to about four cents of their game token. I never understood why anything involving cryptocurrency tends to be so stingy that they can't add some kind of simple free option like that to work with, and if they do, they offer a mere pittance. So the pros of this is whatever you buy, it is yours for life. Uh, there is no contract, there's no subscription, and the company is fairly transparent, I will give them that. The cons though are there is no free-to-play option beyond the first five days, and maintenance fees could potentially eat up your rewards and will eventually eat up all of it. However, a plus that they don't make you pay for it. That being said, though, the final rating is a red. There isn't really any beer money to be had here. I wouldn't consider it an investment either. And I, actually, honestly, I don't give financial advice at all, but this is definitely not an investment to me. And while unlike other crypto mining places, there is a chance, albeit slim, that is almost entirely dependent on the political climate these days, that you will be able to get your money back within a few years, there is no guarantee you will. And that goes for most crypto mining apps and websites in general. If you're looking for a place to earn money, I don't think this is it. You have to hope that Bitcoin continuously goes up, and remember that mining will only get increasingly more difficult, especially with each halving that happens. Now look, this is no real rush. I'm 99% confident you're going to get paid. But how much you get paid is dependent on those headwinds of the crypto market. And that's a risk that you're going to have to take. And I just think it's too great for a casual beer money person to take that risk. So that's the video, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a like. Comment on what you think on Go Mining if you agree or disagree with me. I'm pretty sure this is going to be somewhat of a controversial topic because a lot of Beer Money Network members have taken the plunge with Go Mining. I am not going to offer a referral link because I gave this a red rating, though. Um, and I'm not going to link them. Again, red rating. And the main reason for the red rating is just lack of value here and no free-to-play option. That's pretty much it. Um, comment if you disagree. Uh, comment as well if you think that this is a great place for all I know. You know, if you've made your money back, let me know as well. It's been several years. I'm sure some of you might have. 
And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I am Pharaoh Silver, signing out. Bye, everyone.